Okay, to give you a bit of an idea how Verso works, let's have a bit of a flick through my account. So let's log in. So Verso is an online app that allows collaboration. It allows you to put stimulating media against thought-provoking questions. It allows you to put any sort of media up. Um, we have a, a few flips here in my library. Um, first off, we have one here, which I, I just recorded a demo uh, using my flip camera in the lab. Another one where I use some YouTube footage. Below it, we have one which was simply a question by itself. Nothing more required. The one next to it is one that I recorded straight off the iPad, and it went straight onto Verso. Another one, I inserted a link to an image online. We have other ones too with, with students um, in experiments and we reflect on the experiment in class. So it's really up to your imagination what media you put alongside these provocations. So let's go into one of my classes and have a look. Okay, here are the, the flips that the students are currently working on. Um, if we go into a flip here, um, we, we have the media which can be easily played if it's a video. Um, the provocation the stimulating and thought-provoking question underneath. So straight away I can see uh, the number of students who have responded and the number I'm waiting to respond. I can also see the percentage of response. Also the level of collaboration, the number of comments and helpfuls that we have. As a teacher I can see the students' names and when I um, tap into the questions I can also see who the names of the students who have written comments. But when I'm back in the teacher view, I can see who's who. And it's giving me great visibility into the learnings that are occurring. And because they can't read anyone else's response until they've responded themselves, I know they're responding authentically. In a student view, things are quite different. As a student, you can only see respondent. So it's anonymous for students, which gives them a, a, a lot of confidence. The other great thing is because I know they're responding to a high order thinking question that's really exposing their thinking. It's giving me a greater visibility into what they know and what they don't know. If we tap into one of them here, we can see it's still anonymous. The student's name is, is just as respondent. Other students' names are as, as numbers. We can also see here they can like responses. If they've received a comment off a student, they can also mark it as helpful. Using these likes and helpfuls is a, is a language you're familiar with uh, with working in social media. The best thing about it is that they're liking someone's comment. It's not a popularity contest. Students feel that their comment has been valued based on what they've actually written, not on who they are. As I go back to the teacher view, I, I have another feature. I can actually group students. So let's have a look at how this might work. I can actually go through and read students' comments and say, I think that they should be grouped together. I can very quickly and easily read and group the comments. But what does that allow me to do? It allows me to, in class, create groups of students with a similar question. Or it allows me to create groups of students with different opinions. This could be very beneficial if I'm wanting to arrange activities to keep them in that question. Okay? And the more time we can have the students spend in the question discussing and keeping their ideas open, the more likely we are to create connections in their learning. Finally, we could find groups of students who might have similar misconceptions or understandings about the concept and we could work out how to work with them and move them forward. All great tools for personalised learning in the classroom. And finally, by going into my classes here, I can go and have a look in. Um, not only can I easily reset their passwords, but I can actually go in and have a look at the stats for the students. I can see who's been contributing, who's been writing comments, who's been collecting likes. And it allows me to see who's been developing the skills to collaborate online, acknowledge the ones that have been doing a great job, support the ones that need more help with these essential skills. When I go to my stats here, I can see um, some stats from the students. I can see some feedback about how many students have responded, how many comments, how many likes were happening in there, how many helpfuls were happening. But I can also see what they have thought of the flips themselves. It help me as a professional work, work out how to best deliver these provocations. See which ones were working. So 
So as you can see, I think the tool has a lot to offer for what we're trying to achieve in the classroom. Now, if any, any of this interests you at all, I'd highly recommend you check out Verso. Uh, that's, that, that's the website there. Um, it's a very intuitive t tool, has a free trial, um, and best of all, it's, it, it's something that's designed with pedagogy in mind. It's built to go in your classrooms. 